I had, I had forgotten this, but her mom uh, reminded me. Listen to this audio. Today's lesson is about new quilted northern, ultra soft and strong with clean stretch. <laughs> Look it's at it. Strong and flexible, so it really holds up. <laughs> Let's test it. This is what mom used to buy. Whoops! But new quilted northern doesn't break apart. See? And feel how soft. Mm-hmm. So mom switched to new. Quilted Northern, ultra soft and strong. Trust. Are you still using Quilted Northern, uh, Allie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, Allie. But what was it, back in 2013? I think was it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, she was actually in that commercial. We talked about that a long time ago, if you recall. You, I we uh, did a while back. And so. and you could prob- probably see some of this on television here, but. You started playing that, and she heard it, and she was like, oh, oh, she was so cringing, putting her hand over her head. It's, <laughs> every, it's, uh, you did a good be job. Be proud of it. Almost, be proud of it, Ellie. Almost every great actress has a commercial they've done in the past, and they're like, oh, that was when I was a kid. <laughs> you know. So, all right, Ellie, good luck. Thanks for nice coming job. back in. Thank you so much. Okay. Allie Kiesel, and that is really cool. I've been watching in Broadway, uh, Utica. You can get the, uh, the tickets for that. Uh, let's bring in, if we could right now, Senator Griffo, you want to hang in? You can stay a little bit here? And let's see if we can bring Julia over onto the uh, onto the microphone. Judge Julia M. Brulette is in studio. She's an United County Family Court judge. They're moving her in position to get up on the camera. And Julia, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Good. So we're talking about um, no, National Adoption Day celebration. Yes, National and Adoption Day. Let's talk about that. How important this is to so many different families and to so many different kids. Oh, it's very important. Um, November 18, 2016, this year at the On Center in Syracuse is where, um, in this area, where we're going to celebrate National Adoption Day. There are going to be seven judges from different counties in our our district who are going to finalize over 50 adoptions. Wow, that's big. It is big. And, And easing the process, making it easier, that's important? It is. Um, We have... Current well, National Adoption Day is in part to celebrate adoptions mm-hmm. nationwide, but it's also to try and raise awareness in the community that there are so many kids out there who are looking for adoptive homes. We have over four hundred thousand children nationwide who are in in foster care, who mm. are in the foster care system. Over a hundred thousand children are currently awaiting um, or looking for adoptive homes. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so one in five of our children age out of the system, the foster care system, without ever finding an adoptive home, a permanent home. So it's it's very important to kind of highlight this need that we have in society. We also have a need for foster homes. So if somebody is looking to perhaps just be a short-term resource, there are plenty of ways that they can help out our children and not be adoptive resources necessarily. Right, right. Um, foster parents, their goal or our idea is that they're really there to help out the family and to foster the relationship between the children and the natural family with the eye towards returning the child to that Got it. Um, original family. Right. But if they can't for some reason be returned or if somebody is looking to be an adoptive resource, there are plenty of children out there who need good adoptive homes. Right. Andrew? So you said the 100,000, that's nationwide? That's nationwide. That's pretty startling. What are the numbers like here in Oneida County? Here in Oneida County, we have... Um, 51 freed foster children currently. Wow. wow. And uh, and has the process gotten easier? Obviously, we want to be careful, right? Because in the 40s and 50s, um, Annie, um, the uh, uh, what play is all about. Yeah, right. The uh, By making it easier, it was not a, there were a lot of bad situations. Yeah, we really don't make it easy here yeah. in New York. I mean, but, but at the same time, making of- it difficult and almost impossible yeah. for, a, for a good couple to be able to adopt a child is 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 bad too yes yeah it, it is a balance um but we do very carefully screen our families and and we look at them and we want to make sure not only that it's a good adoptive fit for the adults but also a good adoptive fit for the children right right and really the children is is my focus and i think our did, focus did you get in this after you became family court judge or did you get involved beforehand i've always been involved in before becoming a family court judge, I was a court attorney referee. So I, I did a lot with mm-hmm. the abuse and neglect cases. Yeah. So I was always working with the children who were in foster care. So I've been a part of that. You know, the National Adoption Day is just a small part of what we do in the foster care system. All right. So that's going to be out at the On Center in Syracuse on November 18th. 
Yes. And take advantage of that. Now, one question that I'm not sure you can answer, but I've heard more stories, and I know someone, uh, I won't mention their names, but I know them, they were unable to, to get a, have a child. So do you. They were unable to have a child. Either he or she was unable. They don't know why. They went through the testing and all of the stuff that you would do. Finally, they decided we're going to adopt. Mm -hmm. Adopted uh, two, I believe, uh, beautiful children. And then out of nowhere, she gets pregnant. Yes. How in the hell does that happen? I don't know. Yeah. But it does happen. Yeah. Um, studies show that for whatever reason, once you have a child in the home, for some reason, that increases oh, your chances of uh, being fertile. We can't figure it out, but yeah. it's uh, but it does work. It's crazy. It does. Yeah. Okay, uh, Julia, thank you so much. Sure. And can I just give a shout out to Please all our do. veterans today? Oh, it's a big day. It is yeah. a big day. And I just want to say thank you very much to all of our veterans, past and present, who have served this great nation. Uh, we've been at war for a long time. The um, yeah. You know, we look back at veterans. You think of veterans as, as being older people, and they are, and they've, they've, they've done some amazing things for us. But a lot of young guys and women out there that are uh, that are currently serving. currently serving and mm -hmm. going some through that some are tough, going through yeah through an awful mm -hmm. lot. 